Oh, welcome back to Gordian Quest. This is episode number five, I believe, of the game. It's, it's a little late today, I'll be honest with you. But, you know, it's, it's like, what, it's like 2 a.m.? It's kind of late, not super late, but I don't want to go to bed yet, but I don't really have anything else I feel like doing, so I figure, hey, may as well record an episode of Gordian Quest. Monster Train's on the books already. So it's been a few days. I think it's been two days since the last time I played this game. So I will be reaccustoming my re reaccustom re reacquainting myself with the game. Sorry, I'm taking my hoodie off. Yeah, you know, my headphones they have like an autoplay if I tap the side of them. So every time I take my hoodie off, I'm worried I'm gonna start a music playing. Anyway, uh, I believe last time. We... Oh yeah, we killed bandits. I remember. And we also rescued that mother who fortified for those... For those zombies. And we have to go talk to Roderick about our quest. Let's do it. Well thought, with the warehouses back in our hands, we can double down on our efforts to secure the city walls. It'll take me some time to organize the defense effort, in the meantime you might want to head over to Winton's. A research into your encounter with the Rift Lord might have turned up something. Okay, so we're just... It is a Rift Lord. It's interesting because I feel like they were kind of, were kind of tiptoeing around it. They're like, "Ooh, that might have been a rift lord. I don't know." And now this just yes. that's a rift lord. Ah, there you are. No, I'm afraid my investigations into the rift lord's encounter has turned up nothing so far. But I do have another task for you. Some of my apprentices in the field have reported that the ancient Vanai shrines, which we are value as heritage icons from the past, seem to have awakened. The timing is too coincidental. I suspect they could have a link to the Undead Invasion. Check out the one in town and find a way to disperse the energy within it. The Vanai were spiritual, so the act of praying to it could be recognized as a form of appeasement. Destroying the shrine could be a straightforward way to end our troubles. Okay. We have to go pray or crunch a shrine. We should eat rest. Lucia's got smoked, I remember, last time. Took like a 19. I don't want to take any of this. We can just rest. Oh, wait, I could have come here. This was free. Or not, yeah, this was free. Oh, well. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to take a look through my inventory and such. Uh, check my cards, etc. See if I have anything I want to do with this. Because you never know, maybe I left off. Right, I was trying to pivot Lucius to be some sort of a half-sword, half-dex build, I believe. I feel like it's a real big missed opportunity that... Maybe not missed opportunity. I mean, I guess, in reality... If critical affected multi-hits, it would be crazy, right? It would be very strong. I don't want to try this card. Draw one, gain 12 critical if the card is an attack, gain 1 AP. I'm down. This is junk. This is junk. This is junk. 7% more dex or plus 1 strength? Is this plus 1 strength or plus 1 dex? Right now it makes sense to use plus 1 strength, but later on I might try to do plus 1 dex on him. Plus 2 to intelligence challenges, sure. That's junk. I don't think I want that. Trying out this dagger over the warblade. I think I upgraded this, but it got kind of garbage anyway, so it's whatever. Hello, I would like to sell... What about, what's salvage? All junk items will be broken down. Ah, sick. I don't have to sell these. I can turn the gear into money. Or like... Uh, upgrade parts. Good. Thought I checked that. And then I have no more junk to sell. Pardon me, I have accidentally tabbed out. There we go. I'm back. Alright, let's, let's hit the road, shall we? I think we're all good. Grab my one supply. Oh, I want to look at runes, actually. Gain a channel charge. Attach skills will be added one more time into the deck. Non-white cards on this item are converted to intelligence skills. Oh, so this is like you get to turn everything into an intelligence skill. Attach skills. Okay, these are all pretty bad. Bad. They're... One spell attack damage plus one plus two to construct damage. I don't care about that. I'm thinking about maybe trying to get him a second wand, but doesn't seem very good. Let's ride. 
So what are we doing here? We're going to this spot. Investigate the shrine. This is still a souped up combat. I kind of want to just go knock it out. Because I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of rewards. It took like three modifiers on the map. So it's got to be good, right? Surely. Hey, you think that's the Rift Lord in the background, by the way? Big Pope hat? Big cool scythe? Do you think that these inner spikes on the scythe actually do anything? Because I feel like maybe it's like jagged, jagged spikes, but I feel like you would just make that a serrated edge, right? Maybe I'm being nitpicky. Oh, this guy's got reality warp. Huh. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little too critical, but like, what the heck, man? I really don't think that's good at doing anything. 11 here, 9 here. So you're taking 20. You can just get out of the way. This is a row attack. Sorry, a lane attack, a column attack. So goal here is probably going to be to kill the 9 HP enemy. Who's going first here? This one? It is this one. Gotcha. So... Do they go at the same time? Maybe he has a higher dex modifier. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to... To kill this one, we have to... When you're going through hell, keep going, basically. Pierre gets his turn. None of these are the channel card, though. I'm pretty sure I killed the skeleton. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Please take me back to my turn. I wanted to check. I want to weapon throw and throw away keen strike, I believe. Then double slash here. We have a fury charge, so it's going to make more damage happen. I think that this will do 20 times 2, and it does, and you block up and you don't take any damage here anyway. I was maybe too worried about this enemy. Should have actually been worried about this this one, the one that's going to hit Catherine. And I don't know why I didn't think about that. Well, Catherine is not ideal, is it? That's my B. I should have actually focused here. I can at least lower the damage it's going to do because of cold. Oh wait, no, this one's attacking. Never mind, my mistake again. I was I was doubly wrong. This is not the enemy who attacks me here. What the hell am I thinking? I don't know. I'm healing ally on your lane for five. It's a shame that these don't stay. I'd love to hold on to that card, but I guess the idea is that you're supposed to just like, use it if you want to hold on to it. Or not use it, I guess. Wait. There we, go. we killed two in our first round of combat, which is pretty good. I also definitely didn't need to channel there. Kill two, take no damage, good combat. I mean, it's basically over, I gotta tell you. You cut their numbers in half on turn one, it's pretty much a done deal. Reality War? Oh, Pierre, get out of there. Oh yeah, remember this attack? Holy shit. Playing Spike. Do you think that this gets bonus from crit? Even if it did? What's in your deck here? It's a 50-50. No, it's not. That It's a 1-4. One, one 111. What, a, what an ability. What an ability. Okay, can you maybe... Here. I think you can kill here. Because ideally we just take Vero, right? Thirteen. I can't move you. But I can take the hit. This is my bad, by the way. Again, this is, this is a my B. I shouldn't have to spend this purple like this. This is silly of me. So I've set it up like that. But it is what it is. This really, I didn't need to spend it because this enemy is going to die. I'm gonna take like a. I don't want to win right now because I want to recover some of Pierre's SP. And I wonder if that's a real like piece of this video game that I'm supposed to be doing. I don't really know what happens here. Another turn unit on the cells inflicted with five chill. If you don't care about that. Maybe shockingly. But the chill doesn't proc until his next turn, and he's not having another turn. This combat is over. We got like half of an SP for that. 
very weird to call it an SP. Like, it feels like I should be calling it an SP point, but it is not. It's a strategy point, is what SP stands for. Oh, I have to go to the event. I see. A familiar gel brushes across your skin, one that you felt before. The Rift Lord is close by. You ponder your next action, a blood-curdling human scream suddenly pierces the air, followed by a loud thud. It sounds close by. Moments later, the chill passes in the other direction. Ah, uh, so we can either follow the Rift Lord or go to the cry. Let's go to the cry. You hurry in the direction of the voice on the ground. You see a grievously wounded soldier, bleeding from multiple cuts and gashes. It went that way. The soldier mumbles catatonically before losing consciousness. Pick a hero to attempt a knowledge check for first aid or chase down the Rift Lord. We save the man. Pierre, save him. You win this, Pierre. No chance I miss this first roll. Let's go, natural 20. I'm nuts. Oh my god, I'm so good at rolling dice. You dress his wound and staunch his bleeding as much as you can. With some luck, you'll live to see another day. You've lost track of the Rift Lord, but you've no doubt it won't be the last time you'll encounter him. And I get. This got a negative, and this got a positive. This mechanic's pretty cool. The area contains traps. Start the battle with max SP. Shouldn't have saved his life. What the hell? What a waste of my time. <laughs> Why did I save that guy? <laughs> hey, give me... Let me get increased skill rank here for Catherine. What skill? Probably... Divine Hammer is not even in my deck, so probably not that one. That's plus four. Maybe Debilitating Bolt? Probably Debilitating Bolt. Give me plus two burn, plus two vulnerable. That seems fine. I have not mentally registered that card as giving me vulnerable on the enemies. I should think about that more. It's a loading screen? What is this? Oh, I see. Uh, area con area drops a consumable item, area drops a magic weapon. I'm down to pump four incense into this. And prage. That'll be fun. <laughs> right? That'd be pretty fun. Okay, so it doesn't spread all on the one. It splits them pretty evenly. Okay, so now I'll just run around and do all of these real quick. I'm kind of wasting time in terms of progressing through the game, I feel, by stopping and fighting these enemies and gathering stuff, but I don't know, man. I'm having fun playing cards and watching enemies die, so I'm just going to play it like this. It's not a big deal. This is a pretty lax episode, too. Oh, my God. He's thicky. He says can't be moved. So we probably kill the other ones first. Oh wait, no, he raises zombies. Okay, never mind. I think I killed this guy first, actually. I have the wrong character targeted. I was like, what's going on here? It's a little awkward that if you hover, was it? Oh, if I hover up here. Sometimes I just do with this though. That's my bad. Hellface bloated. The man's name is Hellface? Again, yeah, I just end up on Pierre sometimes like that. Okay. Uh, what I want to do here is I actually want to shift... I'm going to get reality warped anyway pretty consistently, I feel. So my, my positioning isn't that important. I'll put up the armor and vigil. Should not disregard the damage coming at me here. Alright, so Skeleton is doing 10. So Catherine's got 17 coming at her here. Could do like a move to mitigate this actually. I should probably not let the zombies overwhelm me. Hmm. I don't know. What do we have here? You're gonna summon a zombie. This is 7, this is 10. You just put up two barriers, or like a deflect. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to just pop two magic missiles. Like this, and set up to kill here. Give myself the channel as well. It's a good turn. Now, Catherine should kill here. And try to block and That's... Both of those things are easy to do. This entire turn is pretty easy to do then. Shield block has not been doing very well, I have to say. Uh, this kills. This is the one that kills this guy. A little bit of overkill, but it's okay. 
You have to block them, so it's set up a debilitating bolt and deploy. And I think again it's worth it. I feel like I've been too cautious with my SP. Oh, that ability changes when I put up the block. So my man said, doesn't anyone respect the elderly? We are fighting zombies. The answer is absolutely not. Hell no. That's a 797 exactly. Look at that. What an insane ability. Like, God damn, I can I will not get over it. 30x card's crazy, man. Play all your stuff out. Get the get the block back up. You too, Catherine. Block up, block up. I don't have anything to heal. It'd be a little bit of a shame if you can step over. Thanks. We're getting like really good drops for this. So look at that. I got. I'm getting like crazy XP. Champions Morning Star, plus one melee attack, start battles with one might, gain three focus, some money. I'll look at maybe giving Lucius that, but I'm trying to pivot him to Dex. Really, I should just pull it and bring in Alphonse, but, you know. Take a skill here. I think I want to go for Evocation. I'm not creating and controlling the battlefield isn't good. I'm looking for evocation, I guess. Creates burning ground that was left to right. Place mana tempest effect on your current cell, which increases your max channel by three. Creates burning ground on a random cell, or two random cells last three rounds. Burn damage and earn to a burn. Creates static field on two random enemies, applies five shock and last two rounds. This seems really bad. I'd like to redraw. Deal 4 burn damage, apply 6 burn. Deal 8 tr shock damage, trigger shock on target. Discharge, copy shock stack to 2 random targets. Someone informed me in the comments, episode 1 has gone up. Flame shield is, uh, you target an enemy. So this is stack burn on an enemy. Now, I feel like I'm playing chill. I'm gonna take a respec point. Just let me do. I think this lets you respect this grid. I'm just gonna skip that. Oh no, that was pretty underwhelming. I didn't like those. Yeah. Okay. The downside of not going into strength for Lucius is he is actually like all strength based. Maybe I shouldn't go for this Dex idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. I mean, you do still go for self-defense because it's daggers and swords, although I did just get a mace for him. But I think that I should swap this to, to might. Go to 20, yeah. Like, it's okay. Start battle with one might. One melee attack damage. I mean, I can't really see this being that good. What is the, what is this? Go 30 more damage on the next X hits. I guess the upside of starting battle with one might is that if I draw the 30 X card, just lethal, maybe I give it a shot. Doesn't come with a card either. I'm down. I could also just take double slash out. Yeah, as cool as I think that card is, now, it leaves me in this awkward position where maybe my my loadout doesn't make a whole lot of sense because Double Slash capitalizes on the bleed and such, but... I don't think I'm missing out on too much here. Just worried he has too much block. Similar to this guy, worried you have too much block. I thought I was going to cut a block card out of your deck, right? Probably, I mean, it can't be Deflect. I guess it's this Deflect. Sure. Catherine, you have 13 as well. Uh, you I don't actually feel like you don't have enough block. I feel like, I feel, I feel like you don't have enough block. Oh, you know what I feel? I feel like you keep drawing shield block and this card is mediocre. Because you're intelligence focused. Alright. Menuing done. Let's get back out there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit all of these combats eventually. Let's go hit this exploration as well. I'm gonna hit here, we're gonna do a whole walk around. We should still dispatch a random enemy for us. Very nice. Mage Vestiment. Seems terrible. Hang back, keep the area safe. Yeah, yeah. 
Now, if I here's a question for you: If I walk up to this, will I still take damage? I will not. It just doesn't trigger. I wanted to check because I needed. I was. I'm out of notes, right? I wanted to give it a shot. Seven enemies over two waves. Area contains weapon caches. Frontline is barricade. Enemies are blessed with four might. Consumables can't be used. This will be a very hard fight. How exciting. I mean, this is the sort of fight that could kill you. You could lose a character here. Ah, here's what I was here for, though. Okay, we get to go first. Cultist follower, cultist follower. Oh, that enemy's not so scary. Back to you, please. So I can kill one with Ice Shard, Ice Shard, for sure. What are they doing? 11 damage here. This four might. Oh my god, that's crazy how much damage I'm gonna take because of that. Well, oh, right, 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 right. I was about to be outraged, but no. I am in the wrong here. You draw... You did not draw. Okay. I am the one who was wrong there. Here, I want you to go... Block up. And then I want you to just take the bullet. Take the 11. Or, oh, uh, no, I see. I thought I was treating this like it was a ranged attack. This is a targeted attack. I am incorrect. That move was worthless. I think it's not worthless, but not optimal. Oh, that's right. He has... So, Lucius now starts with one knight. But he can just go... Oh, no, I made a mistake. Uh, no. What a waste. Yep, what a waste. It's okay, it doesn't hurt me too heavily, but also, oh, what a waste. What a fool I am, what a fool. I feel like I might just kill this enemy, yeah, one, two. Feeling like I did enough. You could just punch right through, kill the cultist. This fight looked really scary, but it ended out pretty well. When open, draw an attack card. Draw an attack card? That's it. That dude, like, puked when he died. Roll a two. Oh my god! 288? Deals more damage and has double HP. Holy moly. Well, let's get to work, I guess. I'm gonna shift over. What did I get for that? Maybe it drew on hit. Like, maybe it drew, I just didn't get it for it. I don't know. This is 16. I think it's hitting here. Here's what I don't know about chain forward and lane. Would this hit both of these guys, you think? No, okay. The chain effect chain needs adjacency. Gotcha. I don't know. Put up 11 guard. Axe throw is missing. We'll target the front row. Pretty sure we should have a reasonably solid fight here, right? Because you go like, panel there, big smite, here. And now I'm taking 16 here, but that's not so bad. It is a little bit of damage. Now, it said everyone in the target selection. I was a little worried I was about to watch Pierre take 16, which would be disastrous, right? This game, for how free it has felt up until this point, we are constantly on the razor edge. 22, close range. It's the frontmost target has limited range. Uh, so I can just, like walk away from this attack if I'm so inclined. I'm out of purple. Now I have it. I don't think I really want to use it though. Now if I were to back kick you to here, what would it look like? Okay, so close range means that he can only hit the front position with it. I maybe, maybe shouldn't just be testing that like that because if I was wrong about that assumption I was about to watch Pierre absolutely biff it. But no, that attack is fine. 
This fight actually went well. I'm not surprised, I guess, because no, none of the fights have really caught me off guard so far. Except for, I think it was the dog combat where they won the initiative roll and I just got a little bit hit. They just keep kicking him away. This poor man, but also fuck you. Too bad I didn't get you my heal card though. I'm curious to see what the affinity does. I think this is my relic reward. Plus two guard when, with dexterity, defense skills, gain and agility when moving in the row. Would love a rare shield, but not one based on dex block. Grants shatter hit, plus two ranged attack damage. That requirements to equip reduced by two. What the hell? Deal six, deal 26 damage, apply six vulnerable to all target. Mm. For a two-handed weapon? I don't know. Grant's mana charge. I mean, these are all pretty bad. I'll take the rare, and then we can disenchant it at least. Okay. Over here, and then there's also a healing event. Oh, don't forget to upgrade. I don't hate maybe just going for stats here and not trying to reduce minimum. I mean, I guess I am going for stats. I'm just going through. Yeah, that's fair. Can I upgrade this card? I can. Oh, baby. Consume all fury charges. No, again, this is just power, right? Or no, I, I chose the power over the fury charges. I remember because I wasn't generating those. That is what that is. He has another uh, grid. Warrior 2. Leadership 2. Swordsmanship 2. I'm good with Swordsmanship 2. I could link. I'm gonna end up over here. I guess I could just wait. Because my next two moves are going here and here. That's fine. We'll go into this. Although, no, that kind of. That seems kind of bad because I set my tier 2. My next talent point far away. Oh well. Probably fine. Catherine gets two skill points here. Uh, I could try to bring her decks up, but I also like just going for more intelligence. Tunnel the stat. I'll stop eventually on tunneling the stat, I'm sure. But also, will I? I don't know. Why do decks when make number big? It only really matters outside of combat, right? Wait, you're Hellspawn, right? What's your name? No, your name is Bloated. The Hellspawn was a subtitle, I guess. Hellspawn was my fawn. <laughs> and there goes uh, two of those guys right away. And then my turn. I don't need to do anything more. Lucius handled it. Yeah. GG, zombie. Shake my hand. No, shake, shake my hand. Shake my hand. Rare accessory is plus one lightning resist, plus one max HP, plus three to initiate. I like putting this on Catherine because I feel like she will rolls very bad initiative rolls a lot. Plus one hand, lose my gold bonus. I think I don't care. I mean, it'd be nice to keep, but I think it's a bait. Party gains the supplies and recovers 10% max HP. There's actually no reason to take that. I also don't think there's a reason to take harder fights like that one. Where it just has negatives. Like I took this one because it had a rare accessory. I'm gonna take this one because it has a consumable item. And getting rare accessories from that ship is pretty cool. The shrine? Shrines I thought were pretty underwhelming. Uh, energy siphon. At the start of the turn, units on this cell lose one AP. That's here. Where she's standing. A lot of damage. Oh, I was looking at the targeting for this. I was like, maybe it's his own guys here? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, oof. What'd you draw, Lucius? Okay. I mean, the goal here is to survive, I guess. I also would like to get Catherine off of this square. 
But I'd like to do it without shifting Lucius into it, right? Which I think is impossible, so... I guess I just work on killing with that. I'm gonna heal Lucius up, and... If I channel... 44... I think I like going for the Archer here. Pierre should be able to finish him off, and we can... Again, the fights that look scary end up being not so bad. Unsurprisingly, I would say at this point. You can't be surprised by it every time. You just kill one or two, and then all of a sudden things don't look so bad. The doom and gloom goes away a little bit. Twenty-five. Hmm. I can use two, or I can use Ice Nova. This is twenty-three, and fifteen is thirty-eight. This is much more, so it's better to go. Oh, but I won't be able to play Ice Nova. Eh, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Get that indicator. That's a lie. That enemy doesn't die there. I saw it. Hey, what the heck? You were hitting Catherine? Ah, shit. Oh, that's my beat. At least there's a healing node on the map still. Can go heal that back. Only 3 HP, right? Because it's 10%, but still, HP is HP. Probably do something about the damage Catherine has coming at her. I was just not counting correctly because of the Ember Drain Energy Siphon, whatever you wish to call it. Yeah, wow. That's gonna bait me. At some point, that's gonna get me. Where I look at that and I go, oh, he's dead. And then he's not dead. Maybe it won't, because I, I know it happens now, so I don't know if it'll really catch me. Oh, what the hell? I guess I should read what these things do. Oh, and I can't get the heal off? What the heck? What kind of scam is that? Again. Blunt arrow, quiver. Think three focus, sure, sure. I'm gonna pop back over here. If I can walk around the map to my heart's content as far as I'm aware. I'll go grab this exploration, why not? Yeah, I can even go check out these two events. I'm, I got the time. I don't think I have anything important to be doing right now. <laughs> sure, man, that is an armor item, you know what? You got me. The cloth sash with plus one to intelligence uh, checks. That is an, is an effect. Plus three melee attack damage gain two critical when moving in the row. I'll think about it. To reach this peddler. Huh. To me. To me, peddler. Where the hell are you going? I have to take the damage. I wanna I want the peddler though. I want the relic token. I remember what it, I it's like for trading for legendary items. I just haven't seen one yet. Hey, the encounter didn't proc either. That's pretty cool. Let's go knock out these two events, and then I will wrap it up. In the middle of the street, a lone zombie shambles about. He is covered head to toe in various accessories of gold. Surprised this might have been a noble or greedy bandit before turning. Stops to mindlessly chew on his accessories, making a commotion. Sure, I'll coin flip continue observing him. A few minutes later, he becomes sluggish and drops to the ground in a stupor. Usually step up to finish him off. To your disappointment, you find he has most of his valuables have been gnawed useless. Gain 17 gold. Damn. What's the benefit? Is it 17 gold? Because of plus 12 initiative, area contains two strong minions and an energy siphon. I'm okay. From the tree line, a lone woman lurches into your view. Her, her clothes are tattered and bloody. She cautiously waves at you and pleads for your help. My mercy traveler, my husband, he's being attacked and needs help. We were out foraging when those murderers attacked. Please help. Lose one fate, add a, notifi add a node modifier. Area contains three more minions. Brutal. I bet she's working for him. 
Well, we gotta help. I'm not giving up a fate token. You follow the woman into the woods, and soon enough, the path leads to a clearing. Suddenly, she whirls around and murderous grin on her face. Sounds of weapons drawn ring roughly behind you. Like lambs to the slaughter, she sneers. Yeah, but who's the fucking lambs here, lady? Like lambs to the slaughter. Who's the lamb? You fucking idiot. You walked into my trap. You bozos. You walked directly into my trap. They say like lambs to the slaughter. I say you're goddamn right it is. God, I'm gonna kill these idiots. And they, they have all this hubris too. It's very exciting. Oh, that does 53. Oh well. Also, that lady puked when she died. I heard it. That was a. <laughs> Seven. Why can't I shift? Oh, you're rooted, right? Because the channeling roots you. Of course. I mean, it's like step, step. Can you even backkick this one? Nah, too bad. Anyway, like lambs to the slaughter, they said. Yeah, it sure is. I do a 330 to that one. Thirty, man. Oh, why did I force that enemy to hit me? You know what? Like lambs to the slaughter, they did get one hidden. So I would like a post-game screen here. Oh, too bad. I'm hoping for like a post-combat sequence where I just stand over that lady and kill her. Maybe that's too far. Who knows? Is that is that too far? I don't know. I like I like revenge. Give me the vindication. Very clear. All right, we've we've done. We've cleared the map. I'm happy with that. Did I need to clear all of this? Absolutely not. But I had fun. I'll turn this quest in, and then we will wrap up. Oh. The most interesting outcome. I have killed so many people. Win. I have to tell you. The shrines seem to interpret your intent and respond in kind. At this stage, I can't speak as to the true reason for the creation of these shrines. I would surmise that the power of the shrines is something we can use to our advantage. The captain should be ready to begin his counteroffensive. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell some stuff real quick. Blunt arrow quiver. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mark things as junk real quick. Do I want to ever use a great sword? Maybe. I think I'm moving away from a dex plan, so I will consider it. Now, what are you wearing? You have chainmail. I don't really like mage vestments. The force armor card seems... Armor seems really good, but I don't love it here. I like the chainmail a little more. Do the dex based challenges. I can toss the ring of gold. I could probably hold a potion in both slots. I am. Oh, you know what? I will keep this. I didn't know what this did. Three focus on Lucius at a at a correct turn timer. That seems good, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. What is this item? What goes here? I don't have a necklace for you. All right. Oh, I'm here to sell you my junk. Wait, no. I'm here to salvage my junk. Better. Didn't get a whole lot out of it, but hey, we got something. Real quick while I'm thinking about it too, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna grab like a necklace. Fire resist, three max HP, fire resist, one attack damage. That's okay. I'm just gonna grab this necklace for Lucius. And now Lucius needs a helmet and Catherine needs I mean you know, while I'm here. No, there's nothing, is there? Embroidered gloves? What do you have on? Eh, better embroidered gloves, yeah. And when I would like to see your runes again. Where this so non-white cards on this item are converted to strength. Best skills gain the potent modifier. Best effects will be applied through guard. Plus one to a resistance type, and you dynamically choose it. None of this seems good. 
Oh, you know what? I'll buy your incense. I'll buy all the incense. That seems good. Now, the incense is not a combat item. No, let's use the shrines. Okay, it's gonna go consumable equip it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.